Hello to everyone. I welcome you in this session of CPA Paper 8 Financial Reporting Revision. This is Senior Huntington, your accounting tutor. Remember, I have created a YouTube channel in names of Tutor Key Master. Now, in today's session, I want us to go through IFRS 13 Fair Value Measurement. We have our revision question. This revision question is from CPA Paper 8, May 2019. It was question 3. Part B. Let us have a look at the question and see. Question 3. Part B. It was all about fair value measurement. BPL wants to sell some of its heavy duty weighing machines that are no longer in use. Two markets were formed within Kampala. That is Chiseku Market and Kaseng Market. Management of BPL assessed the following information from both markets at the measurement date. So we have Chiseku Market and Kaseng Market. We have the price that would be received in Chiseku Market that is 2 million, in Kaseng Market that is 1.8. You have the transaction costs 700,000 and then 400,000. We have the transport costs. 200,000 and then 200,000 in both markets. None of the markets is the principal market for the weighing scales required. Determine the fair value of the weighing scale in accordance with the requirements of IFRS 13 fair value measurement. So this part B had 10 marks. Now IFRS 13 represents the framework for measurement of fair value that is required throughout the other IFRS standards, for example, financial instruments under IFRS 9, biological assets under IS 41, and maybe assets sold for sale under IFRS 5. Now, IFRS 13 defines fair value. It provides guidance on how fair value should be measured. It also sets out the disclosure requirements with respect to fair value. So in this case, of course, we have defined fair value. Because you see, it is determined the fair value of the weighing scale in accordance with the requirements of IFRS 13 fair value measurement and 10 marks for that. So, a wise student, what you have to do, you can start your answering by defining what fair value is. Now, according to IFRS 13, fair value is defined as that price that would be received to sell an asset or pay to transfer a liability in an orderly transaction between market participants at the measurement date. Now, the above definition of fair value emphasizes that fair value is a market-based measurement, not an entity-specific measurement. When you look at your question, they are talking about two markets, that is the Chiseko market and the Kaseni market. And then down there, they are telling you that none of the markets is the principal market for the weighing scale. Now, IFRS 13 sets out the concepts of principal market and the most advantageous market. We need to know what a principal market is and then what the most advantageous market is. So, when you're answering this, you're required to talk about the concept of market, define a principal market as well as the most advantageous, as well as the most advantageous market. Now, a principal market is that market with the greatest volume and level of activity for the asset. Then the most advantageous market is that market which maximizes the amount that would be received to sell the asset after taking into account both transaction costs and the transport costs. In this scenario, we see that we have transaction costs as well as the transport, as well as the transport costs. So, in the absence of the principal market, we can use the most advantageous market to determine the fair value of the weighing machines. Remember, according to the information given, we see that none of the market is the principal market. So, you have to go on and tell the marker that please, in the absence of the principal market, Fair value can be determined using the most advantageous market. Define the most advantageous market as well as the principal market. Now, in the most advantageous market, 
we use the transaction costs as well as the transport as well as the transport costs. So you simply get your selling price minus the transaction costs and the transport costs. So in Chiseku market, you just need to get 2 million minus the 700 minus 200. Then in Kaseny market, 1.8 minus 400 minus 200. So in the Chiseku market, you will see that the net amount, that is how much the net amount is, the net amount is around 1.1. Because it is 2 million minus 900,000, so that is 1.1. Then in Kaseni market, the net amount is net amount is how much? Kaseni market 1.8 minus 600, that is 1.2. So we have a 1.1 for Kiseko market. Then Kaseni market it is 1.1.2. So we see that the Kaseni market is the most advantageous market because it has the maximum amount. That is received from the sale of the wing scale after taking two transaction costs and transport costs. So if I want to come up with a fair value of the weighing scale, I'm using the information in the Kassen market. Remember, when we are determining fair value, we don't make any adjustment for the transaction cost. Simply get your selling price minus the transport minus the transport costs. So your selling price is 1.8, transport cost is 1.2 is uh, 200,000. So your fair value for the weighing scale in this case is 1.6 as a result of using the most advantageous market. Let me take you to how you should present your answer in the exam. So determine the fair value of the weighing scale in accordance with the requirements of IFRS starting fair value measurement. Remember, Fair value is not adjusted for transaction costs because this is not a feature of the asset or liability, but we only use that when we are arriving or when we are determining the most advantageous market. Remember, in the absence of the principal market, fair value of the asset is measured using the most advantageous market. So when you're answering this, remember we are looking for 10 marks. So define what fair value is according to IFRS 13. Talk about market. Remember fair value, the definition of fair value emphasizes that fair value is a market-based measurement. So talk about the principal market as well as the most advantageous market. Remember, in this case, we are using the most advantageous market to arrive at the fair, arrive at the fair value. So the market with the maximum net amount, as I have already told you, is Kassen market because it has 1.2 compared to the 1.1 in the Chiseko market. So you can see that uh, we have 1.2 and 1.1 as our net amount. So since Kassen market has the net amount which is maximum, it doesn't mean that that is the fair value because fair value is obtained by deducting the price, by deducting the transport cost from the price of the asset. So in the Kassen market, your fair value will be 1.6, which is as a result of getting uh, 1.8 minus the transport cost of 1.2. So that's how you can present your answer for those 10 marks. So this is Senior Huntington, your accounting tutor. Remember our YouTube channel in names of Tutor K Master. Please go and subscribe that YouTube channel. You'll find more videos about IFRSs. You'll find more revision sessions and so on. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.